Parenting can go from having a lovable relationship with your kids to having an all-out civil war. But how far is too far when it comes to parenting? Take a lesson from these parents and find out which of their punishments went way too far. Michael Ray and Tina Marie Alberson Michael Ray and Tina Marie Alberson may face the death penalty after their 10-year-old son, Jonathan James, died from dehydration. Jonathan had wet the bed, and as a punishment, his dad and stepmom made him stand on an X drawn on the kitchen floor for five days in 100-degree-plus heat in Dallas, Texas, while there was no air conditioning. All during the process, Jonathan was denied water, which resulted in dehydration and organ failure, as well as cardiac arrest. Tommy Jordan Tommy Jordan quickly became internet famous after he posted a video shooting his 15-year-old daughter's laptop with a 45 caliber gun and using several rounds. Jordan was mad after his daughter posted a note on Facebook complaining about her responsibilities. So Jordan posted his own rebuttal of the note, all while calling his daughter an ass and smoking a cigarette. The video went viral and Jordan was visited by a social worker as well as police, who gave him parenting tips while supposedly congratulating him on a lesson well taught. Anthony Powell Anthony Powell found himself charged with capital murder after he beat his three-year-old son to death over potty training frustrations. Because his son Tristan was having accidents, Anthony proceeded to push his son and pick him up and throw him to the ground where his head hit the floor hard. After Tristan wouldn't wake up, he was taken to the hospital where he died the following day. The beating was witnessed by Anthony's sister, who confessed about the incident to the police. Jessica Beagley Jessica Beagley submitted videos of her adopted son's behavior as well as her punishments to the Dr. Phil show as a way to get help with her son's behavior. The gesture ended up backfiring though as she ended up facing misdemeanor charges. Beagley's punishments included putting hot sauce in her son's mouth as well as making him stand in a freezing cold shower. Christy Prado Christy Prado nearly found herself in prison after she forced her 10-year-old son to wear makeup and dress up in women's clothing after he had wet the bed. Christy took a photo and posted it on Facebook even though it showed her son having tears streaming down his face. Then she made her son run around outside while onlookers laughed at him. If that wasn't enough, her son was then forced to take a cold shower while Christy and her roommate threw ice at him. Charges were eventually dropped with police citing there wasn't enough evidence to charge, but her son remained at his grandmother's house. Holding Books in 2014, a young man was caught stealing, and so his father bestowed a punishment that seemed a bit different from the traditional lecture or even spanking. He forced his son to hold several books over his head. The task was probably pretty easy at first, but then we see the son screaming in pain while the father lectures his son on making better choices and being more respectful to authority figures. The punishment received mixed reactions, especially since the video was made public, adding public humiliation to the son's torture. Francis Henna Frances Hanna made headlines after she forced her daughter Jamie to wear a sign on a street corner in Bakersfield, California with a sign that read, I was disrespecting my parents by twerking at my school dance. Did we mention that Jamie was only 11 years old? Hanna got ripped up by the public, saying that it was shameful to publicly humiliate a child when there were other ways to discipline her, not to mention the potential harassment her daughter was exposed to. Bad Haircut after his son got bad grades and lost his $700 iPad, YouTube user King Ease decided to inflict punishment upon his son by giving him a bad haircut. Not only that, but King recorded the session and posted it up on YouTube to further his son's humiliation. So not only did the kid have to deal with the backlash at school, but he also had to deal with the world knowing what he did. However, King Ease got a lot of heat for the punishment and dealt with a lot of criticism. Antonia Folsom Antonia Folsom wasn't happy when her 13-year-old son missed his 9 p.m. curfew and came home 15 minutes late. She decided to lock her son out of the house and told her 15-year-old daughter not to let him in. Instead, she made her son sleep outside on the concrete patio and his sister gave him a blanket and pillow. The next morning, the 13-year-old called the police and Folsom was arrested for deprivation of a minor. Good Parenting in 2015, a video went viral online that was uploaded by a dad who was done with his son's failing grades. He gave his son only three weeks to improve his academic performance, but failed to do so. As punishment, he gave his son a sledgehammer and forced him to destroy his Xbox, all while using foul language and public humiliation. After the first Xbox is destroyed, the dad then brings in an Xbox One and once again forces his son to destroy it. All the while, his son is crying. So what did you think of these rather horrible punishments? Let us know in the comments. And while you're here, here's a couple other videos that we think you might be into. And please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks.